All right, third grade, I need you guys to have a seat and I need you guys to listen up because we're gonna go over today's activity. <laughs> now today, I have five questions here on the board that you guys are gonna be going around and answering questions for. <laughs> now, it's gonna be called gallery walk. Now, the reason why it's called gallery walk is because you guys are gonna walk around, you guys are gonna walk around the room, <laughs> and then you guys are gonna be thinking about these about these five uh, these five questions, and you're gonna write them down in your science journals. <laughs> now, we're going into a new unit in our science in our in uh, in science, but here's the kicker: I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is. That's right. You guys are gonna be trying to figure out what that is. <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys about five minutes to go around and and answer and answer and answer each 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 each, each of these. Each of these five questions, all right? So, and you guys are gonna be, you guys are gonna be walking around, uh, talking. You, if you if you want to partner up, you can partner up, but only two to a partner. Now, 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 if 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 if, 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 if you are with a partner, I want you guys, I want you guys to keep your answers to yourself. <laughs> Don't tell anyone around you. And if you're by yourself, that's totally fine. Just keep your answer to yourself. So, I'm gonna give you guys about five minutes. Uh, go around the room and <laughs> and uh, and try and figure out what our new unit could possibly be about. All right, your five minutes will start now. Okay. All right, that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, okay. Ooh, I like that answer. All right, guys. I'm seeing a lot of good answers around the room. A lot of a lot of good, uh, a lot of good inferencing and what what these could possibly be about. <laughs> okay, you guys have about two minutes. All right, and and if you have all your responses out, I need you guys to go back to your seats and wait patiently for everyone else to gather up their thoughts. You doing good? Okay. Okay. All right, I want you guys to finish up your thoughts. Everyone should be back in their seats in about five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, okay, was that good? You guys, you guys got everything, was that fun? All right, now let's go through it. <laughs> okay, number one, optics can be solid, liquids, or gas. Now I want, so I want someone to raise their hand, tell me which one. Or, t or t tell me what you think this one could be. Peter? Planets. Ooh, okay. Okay. Planets, is that what you have here? All right. Someone else, one more. Sam? Matter. Ooh, that's a good one. All right. All right. So we got planets and matter. So let's, let's, uh, let's keep that in our hands, all right? <laughs> Number two. One of the objects is made of hot gases. Hmm. Can anyone raise their hand and tell me what they wrote down? Wanda? The sun. Oh, that's a good one. Hot gases. Anyone else? No? Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll go over this once, once we uh, jot down our feet. Okay, number three. Some of the objects are larger than others. What are we thinking? Tony? Mars. Okay, okay. Mars. Does anyone kind of see where we're going with this? Mm hmm. You have an idea? All right, keep it to yourself. All right, okay. Who else? Steve? Jupiter. Oh, okay. All right, I like that. Okay, number four. A very large place where objects revolve. Hmm. Pepper. Ooh. Space. Okay. What else we got? Natasha. It's a solar system. Okay. All right. And our last one. My belt is full of rocks. Hmm. Bruce? 
Saturn. Oh, all right, all right. Okay. Okay, so that about does it for all of these. So we have <laughs> planets, matter, sun, Mars, Jupiter, space, solar system, and Saturn. So what do you think our new unit could be talking about? Samuel? Ah, oh, the solar system. That's right. With it, our, our new unit, we are going to be talking about the solar system. Great job, guys. I am super proud of you. You guys are way too smart for me. Good job, guys. Okay, so so for this one, it was a gallery wall. <laughs> um, this is a chance for for um for students to to um to get up off, uh, out of the seats and be more active be engaged, maybe talk to their partner for, uh, talk to talk to the partner for um, for clues if they're maybe getting stuck. This works really good for um, for our uh, for our ELO students because some of these vocabularies, um, like you know you know solar system space, it might be a little tougher for them to maybe kind of figure out what it uh, what it might be even uh, like matter for example. They might not fully, they might know a little bit of matter, but not fully know what exactly matter is. So that's something that I wanted to try and put into this lesson and, um, you know, and I'll try and implement it for when, for, um, for everyone to, uh, to, um, to come together and try to solve keeping, uh, keeping uh, their critical thinking uh, or, or seeing their critical thinking skills uh, with this particular lesson. So it was gallery walk. So like I said, they're going around, trying to figure out, looking at the clues, trying to figure out what it could possibly be. Um, so this is great for all students, for, uh, for, for ELL students, or you know, our, our special education students, our regular students, and just a good time for, for all of them to, to you know, get moving around, be nice and engage, um, you know, just to have a little fun, change it up in the classroom. I feel I feel like with you know with uh, with us you know being be more active in the classroom, this would be uh, really uh, really good for them because you know it gets their mind moving, gets their feet moving, you know especially if it's the morning we want to you know keep that brain going. So um, so yes, so that was my uh, lesson for today, and thank you so much for watching.